back to my channel. So today I wanted to create this look for you guys. I'm currently doing a military inspired mini series on my channel in honor of Memorial Day. I will link down below the other videos I have done in this series so you guys can go check them out. And while you're checking out those videos, you might as well subscribe to my channel. So, if you haven't already guessed it, this makeup look was inspired by the Coast Guard. Before I forget, if you guys know anyone who was or is in the military, please don't forget to give them a big thank you for their service. I wanted this look to definitely incorporate the colors, but also, I don't know, I kind of wanted like a beachy look as well. I, I don't know. I thought of like Coast Guard, the coast, you know, the beach which made me think, you know, I don't know, the sand and the ocean and uh, it's just how my brain works. This look was so far the hardest look that I had to do. Um, things were falling all over the place. My uh, foundation is now everywhere, literally everywhere. <gasps> and these uh, NYX eyeliners, um, these are the Vivid Brights eyeliners. This is my first time trying these out and, um, I mean they're alright so far but they do crack. Which was super frustrating when you're trying to get like very, you know, pointed lines and, I mean, it, and for this blue eyeliner, I don't know if y'all can tell, I don't know, but it's like the tip is definitely not pointed. It's like, uh, I don't know, it's like frayed almost. So when I tried to get that really clean line, it, it couldn't do that. So did not like that. But these colors are very, very beautiful, so... So this one is for all of my Coast Guard friends and family out there. So, if you guys are interested in learning how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I already primed my lids, so we're just gonna jump straight into the eyeshadow. I'm first starting off with this crease shade from this Wet n Wild trio called Walking on Eggshells. Then in that same trio, I'm taking the color labeled Brow Bone and I'm applying that as my inner corner highlight my brow bone highlight, and I'm also going to pat a little bit of this in the center of the eyelid. Now I'm taking this NYX Vivid Brights eyeliner called Vivid Sapphire, and I'm creating a pretty bold, thick, double winged eyeliner. Next I'm using Gonzo and Chaos from the Urban Decay Electric Palette and smudging that on the lower lash line. Then I'm taking another NYX Vivid Brights eyeliner called Vivid Halo and I'm pretty much just outlining the double wing liner that I created earlier. And I'm also applying this on the bottom lash line. For extra help, I'm using tape because my hands would not stop shaking. Here I'm applying this NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk on my waterline, but I do end up changing this later. Then I went back in with that sapphire eyeliner underneath the bottom lash line beneath the yellow that I placed down earlier. Now I just curled my lashes and applied some of this Butter London Double Decker Mascara. Next I'm just filling in my brows with this Tanya Crooks Brow Gal Brow Powder. So here is when I removed the Milk eyeliner that I placed earlier on my waterline and I replaced it with this CoverGirl Blue Liquiline Blast eyeliner. And now I'm just priming my face with this Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizing Primer. Then for foundation, I'm mixing together this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Cream Beige with this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Prosecco Pop. And as always, for concealer, I'm using my trusty Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. To set down my face, I'm using this Physicians Formula Cover Tox 10 Face Powder. And to contour my face, I'm using this Highlight and Contour Palette from IBY Beauty. I wanted a very sun-kissed glow, so I'm using Milani's Luminoso Blush. And for a more dewy look, I ended up using this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. 
Now I'm just popping on some falsies. These ones are from e.l.f. For the lips, I first went in with this Hourglass Chubby Lip Pencil in Girl Futurist. And then I applied Mochalicious from Wet n Wild for a more sandy color. And finally, I'm setting everything down with this Project Beauty setting spray. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!